Hi, I'm Brian, and you're watching Benny Outdoors. What are you waiting for? Explore! <laughs> Good old West Virginia. Dolly Sods Wilderness. Right now we are here. So let me show you a little bit more about our loop, give you a quick overview. So Thursday night we parked here at Bear Rocks Trailhead. We took the Bear Rocks Trail. We camped right here along Red Creek. There's a bunch of nice campsites right here. Uh, today we got moving around uh, nine o'clock this morning. Uh, we continued along Bear Rocks Trail and then we did this outer trail here and then we came down this way and a lot of nice views in the rocks along the ridge here. And we're at about eight miles total, so about seven miles for the day right here. And we're gonna continue down Stone Cool Run. There's uh, some camping spots here, but we're gonna try to go back across Stone Cool Run and camp here tonight. Uh, tomorrow we got some rain coming in, uh, but it looks like we should continue down Stone Cool Run around Breed Mountain. Uh, hopefully get up there as long as the rain's not too bad, kind of find our way up, come back down, go across the left fork, and hopefully camp right along here. I know that both these areas are really busy, so we'll have to be flexible. And Sunday, uh, coming out, we've got about seven miles or so, kind of make our way up this way, uh, avoid Dobbin grade, come up where we passed today, and then get back to the trailhead. That'll be like seven miles, 21 miles for the loop. Well, we made it to camp. We only hiked about a mile, a little over a mile, down to Red Creek. Found a pretty decent spot. This place is really nice when it's light out. What do you think, Brian? Amazing. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better. What are you waiting for? Get out there, explore. Probably <laughs> saw it. Here above Timberline. It's lunchtime. Spicy cheddar crackers. Let's see what everyone's eating. First now, what do you got? Good old Cliff Bar chocolate brownie. 250 calories. Gotta keep them going. Who's that guy on the front? I don't know, but he looks like he knows what he's doing. Cliff Bar. Crunchy peanut butter. 
endorsed by Venus Williams Cliff Athlete. Second best Williams sister. 260 calories, seven grams of fat. Tuna Creations uh, Thai chili <laughs> style. Two packets, 90 calories each on a tortilla. I have to take my uh, shoes off of this. Look at that. It's all about oh, the yeah. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> to camp we got all set up here we are along stone coal run this will definitely do this is beautiful we got white sand beaches over here my buddy krishna here he's gonna take us around hey gang <laughs> and marissa because we know you're watching this so over here you can see it's just a fantastic creek clear water um, right here we have jake's hammock nice and all set up He's gonna be sleeping, sleeping like a baby. If we walk over here, you'll see this is where our roaring fire will be. My sleeping tent, uh, courtesy of Matt Bays. Thank you. Here we have Brian's here, brand new from Public Lands, sponsored of course. <laughs> and then we have the cream of the crop right here. This is Ben's <laughs> tent. Um, I think you can give it. You can give the tour. Big Agnes bike packing tent. The uh, Copper Spur HVUL1. It's nice. Lots of letters, lots of numbers. You think Myrtle Beach is good? <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> Just look out into the water for miles. Thanks, Krishna. Happy hiking. Oh, thank you. Hey gang, day three, rain. Well, it's Saturday morning and the rain finally made it. So we're gonna wait it out just a little bit here before we get started. Surprisingly, it was a nice clear morning and then just kind of rolled in in the blink of an eye. Shows you what can happen here, definitely sods, but we're relatively dry here in our, uh, our little camping oasis, so. Hopefully we'll be able to move out soon. See you later, beautiful campsite. Most famous, favorite campsite in the world. We're gonna miss you. You did well. Signing off. What are you waiting for? Explore. <laughs> On our way up to Lion's Head. Fighting the rain. Winning. Spent an extra 
probably say two hours on Lion's Head is good. Except, uh, well, everything else. much at the highest elevation and we got 40 mile an hour gusts constant mist rain in the air Get some more water. And stay hydrated. Saturday night got rained on pretty hard today. It's gonna be a cold night. Probably dip down about 30 degrees. But we found a pretty nice uh, sheltered campsite here. This is off uh, Raven Ridge Trail. Just tucked back into the woods here. I try to get a fire going with some wet wood. Did about 10 miles today. Hey Brian, outdoors, what's your favorite part about camping? Watching Jake make a fire <laughs> and then being warm by Jake's fire. Jake, how's that going? You know, it's going. Krishna, how are your feet? Um, I can't feel them, so I'm just gonna keep chugging along. It's better than them hurting, right? Yeah, yeah. We have our resident pyromaniac Jake on the case. Trying to get a fire going. We'll see. It's really wet. Brian, what happened? <laughs> I melted my boot. <laughs> Brand new boots. I got a hole in my boot. <laughs> I got a hole in my boots. <laughs> I melted my boots. <laughs> got a country song. Here we are, morning number three. It's uh, Sunday morning. Losing track of the days here. We got a nice camping spot under the hemlocks here. Nice and closed in, protected from the wind. Kind of saved us last night. We had a nice fire. And now we only have about three miles to go today. Guys, how are we doing this morning? Just making sure I'm all strapped up, strapped on. Yep. Integrated whistle. Only you can prevent forest fires. <laughs> This Dolly Sod Strip has just been absolutely incredible. It's uh, kind of surreal, really. When I started backpacking just a year or two ago and started researching the places around where I live, this was number one rated place and been talking about coming out here for a while. I'm like three and a half hours from home. And finally get to do it with uh, the fall colors big group of friends it uh it's definitely surreal and i can't wait to come back 
we've been talking about oh we're gonna try to do this like twice a year for the rest of our lives Which might be a little far-fetched but sounds like a full dream <laughs> <laughs> 